guys, here I am again with another Halloween tutorial. This time it's a little less spooky. I wanted to do something more feminine and I wanted to use glitter, so this is what I came up with. Um, just a quick thing about the pieces in my hair and the feathers along my fa feathers, the leaves along my face. They're real. They're actually from a bouquet that I had to throw out because it was going bad. But I'm pretty sure you can find little fake um, leaves and stuff like that at AC Moore or Michaels and just do the same thing. I just Threw, put some spray glue and threw some glitter on them and stuff like that and just pin them in my hair with bobby pins and another thing before the video starts I did not record uh, my foundation powders contouring and highlighting on my face um, just if you don't know how to do that then just go on another YouTube video because I actually haven't made one maybe that's another video to do but yeah just go on another thing just to highlight and bronze up your face a little bit I did use shimmery bronzer and I used like a peachy um, blush on my cheeks so yeah that's about it so if you want to learn how to get this look just keep watching and if you haven't yet and um, you like what you see remember to subscribe bye <laughs> To get started, we're going to get this white color tattoo. I actually don't have the products in front of me, so I will list them down below, um, the exact names and stuff like that. But we're going to put it up underneath the brow bone and the tear duct area. Then we're going to go ahead and grab the shimmery... Um, gold yellowy color and put that on the lid area and this maroon bronzy I don't know how to really explain that color but it definitely looks a lot more darker in this video than it is in person it's more red in person than it is in the video I don't know why it's so washed out here next I'm grabbing some yellow shimmery pigment and putting that on the eyelid we want this a lot more vibrant than the normal look, so we definitely are packing on that pigmentation there. Next, we're going to go ahead and grab a coppery orange color and blend outwards from the yellow. Again, this video does not do good payoff with the colors. They are super, super vibrant in person, but you'll, you get the picture. <laughs> Now we're going to go into a rusty brown color and put it in the outer V and stretch that outer V a little more out towards your temple area and the crease of your eye. Look at that nice fallout on my nose. You don't want that much fallout guys. <laughs> Next, I'm just grabbing a brush with nothing on it and packing it on there to make sure I don't get any more fallout. Now I'm going into a, a little lighter than a forest green color. And now this color really doesn't give much payoff on this video at all. But in the pictures, you can see it a lot more. And now I'm just going to go back into the yellow color and blend in the green. Okay, 
here I am going into a darker brown color just to deepen up the corner of this that was actually a matte brown color now I'm just gonna add some yellow underneath my eye as well and I do this on both sides of my face as well not just one side and I went into the orange to blend out the yellow Next, I'm just grabbing this Maybelline stick um, eyeshadow thing, and we're going to start drawing our branches on our face. Just lines, basically. You don't have to follow this exactly, just whimsical lines. And bring it all the way down your neck. Next I'm going into a dark brown shadow and I'm going to go and deepen up those lines. I was kind of just using the stick color as a base, kind of like a primer for the shadow so it comes up a lot deeper. And I'm just going to go into a small, tiny eyeshadow brush into a white and kind of putting a line next to um, different brown lines just so that it comes out a little more and it gives the branches a little more depth and beauty-ish effect. Just a little bit. Now here I grabbed the angle brush and I just went into that dark shadow and I'm just going to point it up the edges. You can actually skip the first step. Well, replace the first step with this step and just use the angled brush but this was me doing it for the first time so you get to see me redo it and I actually went over and deepened it up because some parts of the white got onto the branches and I didn't really want that. And I'm just going to do the same thing on the other side just halfway though. Next I'm grabbing my duo blue and clear, not the dark color, and I'm just trying to figure out where I'm going to put it. I already placed all my leaves on the other side, I guess, um, not I guess, I didn't want to show you every single thing, it would be too long of a video. But you basically put it on just like your lashes would, get it a little tacky that's the bottom face. Now I'm just going into a, that same green um, pigment and I'm just going to put it on the leaves, I couldn't think of that for some reason, and then I went into the gold as well and just kind of painted them with the pigment and the shadow. Next I'm grabbing some Max um, Herbal Essence Hairspray and I'm spraying it along the different places that I want to stick this glitter that I got from Martha Stewart at Michael's. It's like not thin thin glitter, it's the kind of PC glitter. And just a plain old brush. And you want to work really quick with this because as soon as the hairspray dries, the glitter won't stick. So as soon as you spray, dab, 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 and it'll dry instantly. And then when you go near your eyes, you just want to spray the hairspray in your hand, dab it onto your face, and then put the glitter over it. 
because you kind of don't want to like spray your whole face with um, hairspray. So next I'm just grabbing some more yellow shadow, dragging it under my eye, grabbing the orange and then I'm going to grab the brown as well. Now I'm just going into my Master Precise Liquid Liner and lining and winging out that eyeliner and also cat eyeing it out in the corner. And I'm dragging it along underneath the uh, waterline as well because I really want to be in that liner. Then I just line the waterline and above to really darken up the eyes. Next, I'm just grabbing my Studio Fix Lash from MAC, just any mascara really. Curl it, doing a little dance while I wait. Then I just grab these super thick, dramatic eyelashes and apply them. There's a little gap, so I fill it in with the eyeliner, some more mascara, do a little dance. This thing again. <laughs> Next, I'm grabbing this dark brown lipstick, lining kind of the eyes with it, not eyes, <laughs> lining the lips with it, sorry, and then grabbing this RNG lipstick. Then I'm going to grab some yellow eyeshadow and put it just on the center of my lips. Then I went back into my blush really quick, pull the powder strips and then the blush. And there's my completed look. See how much more vibrant the colors were? So hopefully you guys enjoyed this. And remember to subscribe. Thanks for watching. Bye.